go over a few features of the trading tab on the Option Traders template. And specifically, we're going to take a look at splitting a trade and clearing all trades. Now, I don't have any trades on my tutorial template, so I'm going to open up one of my trading templates. Now, here is my trading template for Allergan. This is not a suggestion to trade Allergan because I'm actually up on it right now, but I've been down for quite some time. However, here's what we're going to do. We're going to first click on Clear All, and what that does, it clears all of your trades. Now, there could be various reasons why you'd want to do that, whether you, you might want to just clear a few of them or all of them, but there's a clear one, which I have shown in a previous video, and then there's a clear all. If you want to clear just a few, use the clear one. If you want to clear every trade on this template, say clear all. I'm going to go ahead and click that. It tells you that all trades are going to be backed up before clearing. Say OK. Now if you don't want to do it, if you start freaking out, just hit cancel and, and you're out. But if clear all, yes, and this is irreversible, are you sure you want to do it? If you say no, again, you're going to be exited from that subroutine. Let's go ahead and do it. OK, and yes. And they're gone. Now, to get them back or to take a look at them, go to File, your File Operations menu, and then Show Trade Backup. And this will be the backup from the Clear All. So I'm going to hit number two. OK, and there they are. Now, in order to get these back into the Trading tab, what you're going to need to do is copy this to a blank spreadsheet and then copy them in. The recovery from a clear all is not something that I have concentrated on because I don't typically clear all and there's not a whole lot of reason to really do it unless for some reason you wanted to just save that template. Let's say you were trading Allergan in 2016 and then you wanted to clear it and make it a 2017 spreadsheet. You didn't have any open trades that you were going over to another year with. So that could be one reason. Now I'm going to close this. I don't want to save it. Okay, now I'm going to go back into Allergan. And I'm going to show you how to split a trade. For instance, let's say that I have four covered calls on Allergan right now and they are right here and there are four of them I put them on yesterday these are at 187.50 let's say that Allergan gets to 186 toward the end of the week and I want to close a couple of those to let the stock ride above my 187.50 if I think it's going to go further than the 187.50 strike so I'm going to highlight my covered call and say split trade. It says, is the cell on the trade type? If it's not, say no and it backs you out. Let's go ahead and say split trade. Yes. And essentially, it just duplicates that trade. So I want that to be included in my basis. It doesn't matter. You can say three and one, let's say two and two, and then I split my, and I'm just inputting this. Now I have two trades. Let's say that I close this one on 123, automatically two. I go ahead and close that, and presumably it'd be at a loss. Let's say it was dollar seventy five and so I would have lost on that one I, this one would still be riding and I would get called out but more than likely the stock would be above my strike at 187.50 for me to even contemplate doing something like that so this is how to use the split trade and the clear all trade I hope it was beneficial to you uh, thanks for watching, and as always, good trading. Bye.